Good morning. Welcome back to Casa Texpina. Um, it's uh, Saturday. Uh, we're looking at October 2nd now. Um, hey. <laughs> um, that's our uh, Euro uh, Latero, the, the guy that's fixing the metal on the roof. Um, it is, what are we at, man? Maybe about eight or nine months into, the, into staying at the house. And some of the uh, ridge caps have discolored, so we called in a little... little uh, warranty work with the uh, with the, the engineer and he got the uh, the roof guys back out here and they're gonna replace a couple of these ridge caps um, show you what they what they've got these here are the pieces they're gonna be replacing so some of these up on the um, up on the roof have discolored we'll walk around to the front of the house and see if you can see where it looks like see where the discoloration was um, nothing major it doesn't take away from the work but uh, we called it in just because it's like hey this is a brand new roof how come there's uh, large pieces here where it's discolored um, let's get you over here on the side where you can see a bunch of them um, you can see we've got one right up here at the top I'll zoom into that and then over here on this side we've got a bunch uh, you can see right here and again up here uh, there's several places uh, so what they're going to do is they're going to pull the old pieces off put the new pieces back on and should be no problems um, don't have to worry about shouldn't have to worry about any uh, leakage with this one because it's just the ridge cap over it um, it'll just be where the screw attaches back to the, uh, the top of the, um, roofing material. And they'll get those replaced. You can see some more here. A whole bunch right here along this edge next to the solar hot water heater. Um, don't know what it was. Something with the, uh, during the, uh, manufacturing process, the, uh, it looks like just the clear coat didn't hang on very well. Um, the paint color's there. Actually, when it rains, when it's all wet you can't tell the difference you can't see where the where the the discolored pieces are and where they're not uh, when it when it's all wet it all looks the same when it dries out then you notice the difference so like i said make sure you uh hang on to the uh warranty make sure you get a when you're doing the contract for your um for your build be sure to add in a warranty period um Industry standard is typically 12 months uh, from beneficial occupancy date. In other words, the first day you move into the uh, into the house, into, uh, that is when your warranty period starts. So I would suggest uh, don't move in until construction is done. Um, I have noticed on a lot of other vlogs that the, um, the occupants the builders or the owners move in as soon as one of the rooms is done and for me that's that's just bad uh, it, I can understand there's maybe situations um, you're renting an, a, a second place and you want to get out as soon as possible I understand that keep the expenses down uh, but if you can afford to wait please wait until the construction is done and then uh, your warranty period is from the day that you moved in uh, like ours would be mid-February is when we started uh, our warranty period. So we're still within the, the warranty period here and we're getting them to fix a couple things as we go throughout the house. Um, this was the, the big thing today. So uh, as they start putting things back in place, um, I'll walk you around and show you what else they're doing. So let's get started. They're putting some of the pieces together uh, before they take them up. Um, so they put them together on the ground. They'll go ahead and rivet them together, make sure that they stay together. Uh, they got a good overlap underneath. You see here on this one, they've got an overlap probably about almost two inches there, uh, four to five centimeters. Looks good. Uh, that way, you don't have to worry about. Um, when they uh, get done they don't have to worry about putting a uh, silicone seal 
on the top of it because the water doesn't go in that far on two inch overlap. All right. All right, so we got some of the older pieces taken off. You see here where the discoloration is. Basically just looks like the uh, some of the clear coat or something didn't finish baking on properly uh, during the manufacturing process. Um, so the guys are replacing it. So they've got the uh, old sections down and uh, put it back up in place here shortly. So we'll get up there and try to take a look at it. All right, so the guys are starting to take some back up. You see this uh, whole section here has already been replaced. I got one little piece to put back in. Notice they are uh, not doing it barefoot this time like they did last year when they were first putting it in place. Uh, that metal is hot, even at, uh, what are we at now, probably about 10 o'clock in the morning. And it, the, uh, the metal up there on the roof is extremely hot. So they're uh, keeping the shoes on. They got some, they've got the uh, nice clean soles. You see he's wiping the, the feet off there so they grip a little better. Okay, so we got another section coming off. This little section right here, you can see the ridges are open. Um, so he's going to bring the old piece down, hand it to his dad down here on the floor. It's coming around. Then they're going to measure the same on these pieces like they did over here. Make sure they got the right length. Hand them up a new piece, and then we'll uh, screw it back into place. So we'll watch that when they get ready to hand it back up. All right, so the long piece is going back up, and that's going to be replaced over this ridge cap exposed right here. Well, that ridge that's exposed. So what they'll do is they'll uh, take it up there in place, put the top in under first, uh, so that it's underneath the top piece up here and then they'll lay it down screw in the bottom piece and put it all back together now all the pieces are already riveted together so it's not moving in between so they just got to secure the top and secure the bottom and it's good to go Big steps, making sure that they uh, only step where the support is underneath. So they want to make it's about every 60 centimeters. So they got a step. And they, they're watching to see. See, so he's taking the big extra steps there. All right. So he's gonna up here on top. Gonna push it up underneath the uh, the previous piece. Make sure it's got a good overlap. Once it's in place, they'll secure the bottom. I really wish I could be getting this on my uh, drone. I had all intentions to do it with the drone, but you know, I haven't used the drone in about two or three months. And wouldn't you know it, as soon as I pulled it out, it wanted to uh, do an update. So and it had a big, massive update. It was like a three gig update. So uh, just for a firmware update. So it's taking a while, taking its sweet time. I guess I'm not gonna be able to use it today. I will be able to show you the, uh, I'll wait and, before I put all this together and show you what the finished look, uh, the finished roof looks like when they're done uh, you will be able to tell the difference uh, the pieces they replaced because they're going to be you know obviously nice shiny new as opposed to the um, as opposed to the uh, little bit duller pieces that have been exposed to the weather for the last uh, couple months several months like I said we've been living in a house since February so we're at about eight months occupancy now Still trying to, you know, catch the things as they uh, start showing themselves. 
uh, and when they do we get a hold of the engineer and say hey we got some warranty work that needs to be done and uh, try to get it scheduled as long as it's all identified before the end of the 12th month um, it should be covered under warranty all right so now he's going to start taking off the uh, pieces over the dormer window um, not sure if y'all can make it out or not I'll try to zoom in a little bit he's got two pieces that are on this side of it and one little small piece up here at the cap uh, so they're going to replace those uh, same as they did the rest so that and then they've got one more piece on the main ridge way over here in the top corner um, so they're working their way across from uh, south to north uh, going along the roof ridge there all right so uh, right up here at the top of the dormer they've taken the uh, two sections off over here and one on this side um, that I was showing you before from the other direction They'll get ready to replace those here shortly. And then after that, like I said, one last section over here. It does look like it's about one and a half pieces or almost two. Um, so they'll replace that. And then uh, they'll be done replacing ridge caps. Other than that, they've got one small leak that is in the gutter system right here in the corner. Um, they brought a big old uh, tube of silicone sealant and they'll get, make sure to seal that up so we don't have any more leaks going through our um, our ridge, our kissame, the ceiling underneath of the spandrel ceiling there. like we got the uh, last piece getting replaced right now um, they've already done the little small snips on the end so that the uh, ridge cap lays down flat along the uh, ridges of the roofing material so you see how our, our roofing material has got ridges that come up off of it um, so they had to cut out the edges of the roof ridge so that it matches but that's all getting screwed in place and almost finished then the last thing they've got is the uh, a repair of the uh, gutter on the other side with a little bit more sealant almost wrapped up that's not bad for a half day's work all right so the guys are wrapping up they've already repaired the uh, silicone sealant on this side in this corner uh, that was dripping through underneath the bottom of the kissame on the spandrel ceiling or the ceiling and then <clears throat> on this section here uh, we had some where, for some reason, it was getting past the flashing and coming out on the Sinepa here on the uh, fascia board. Uh, so they're working on that. And that'll be the last piece they got for today. So. <clears throat> 
All right. Yeah. Having to wear this as well, just because there's a lot of pompous grass in the area. I'm allergic to pompous grass. So anyway, <clears throat> um, as you can hear the rasp in my voice. Um, yeah. So we got a little bit of uh, warranty work done today with the uh, roofing. So if y'all liked today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Casa Texpina star right over here. And you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen. You'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure. So until we see you again next time, have a great afternoon and God bless.